don't worry, that's not the Alliance, that's just my DIY LED panel. And today I will show you how you can make one yourself. To make it, we will need a plywood, 10 meters of LED strip, some cable, switches, 12 volt power supply and some tools. All links in the description. We can start by cutting LED strips to smaller strips to fit on plywood, because we have to solder there some cables. My plywood is a little bit over 50 cm wide, so I cut LED strips to smaller strips of 50 cm length. When all of the strips are cut, we can start fixing them to plywood. It takes some time and patient to make it straight, but at the end you will see that it was worth it. As you can see, I mount LEDs with small shifts to make them shine evenly and to make them easier to solder. You have to solder end of the strip to the beginning of the next strip. I soldered first strip to beginning of the third strip and then to fifth strip. Thanks to this type of connection, I have two separate circuits and I can light up half of the LEDs or all of them however I want. To solder them, I used small pieces of cable. After soldering, we can make sure if everything is working properly. As you can see, there are two separate circuits, so you have to test them apart. This is how I connect strips together. That's first strip and it is connected with third one. Then third one is connected to the fifth one and so on. Second circuit begins with strip 2 and connects to number 4, and then to 6. Just take a look, it looks so good! Before we can continue, we have to clean up the insulation that is everywhere. Now we have to 3D print, or if you haven't a 3D printer, make out of wood box for switches. Link to the STL file in the description. Switches fit perfectly and match perfectly color of filament. Now we can connect short cable to plus of the connector. And then connect two longer cables to minus of the connector. Remember to twist ends of them to make it look and work better. Because switches were a little bit loose, I put some hot glue on the bottom of them to make them rigid. I also fixed connector with hot glue and insulate it with tape. And again some soldering. Short red cable to the first switch. This will be the main switch to turn wool panel off or on. 
we also should protect it with tape. To the other connector of main switch, we can add two short cables and solder them to next two switches. Two longer cables will connect switch to the LED strip. To make it lay perfect on the plywood we have to make small hole with fire. Using some hot glue we can attach it to back of our panel. You can put some glue on the bottom corners of box and around it to make it fix strongly. Attach the cables to plywood also with hot glue. Solder cables from the box to LED strips as shown and protect it with tape or heat shrink sleeve. It's time to make power supply for our panel. I will use 12 volts 10 amps power supply, link in the description, and free wire cable to connect it to the plug. Firstly, we take off the insulation from cable and screw it down to power supply. Brown goes to L, blue goes to N, and yellow green goes to PE. Other side of the cable have to be connected to the plug. Be very careful and check 3 times if everything is ok before connecting to power. That's 230 volts, it can kill you. That's how you should connect it to plug. So let's connect it to power and see if voltage is ok. 12.6 volts, that's perfect. Let's connect a long cable to DC plug and connect it to power supply. You should also insulate everything with tape to make it safer. So our power supply is ready. Let's go back to panel. Here is the 3D printed part that will connect panel with tripod. Link to this part in the description. As you can see it fits perfectly. So again, using some hot glue we can fix it to the bottom of plywood below box with switches. There is too much hot glue in this video, definitely too much hot glue. I also protect all solders with hot glue. It prevents any shorts and holds LED strip strongly. Let's see how it will work with tripod. Pure perfection. We can tilt it front and back. Rotate left and right. Light up half of the panel or wool panel.
also move it up and down. And just take it away. Let's see the difference between without and with LED panel. The difference is not so huge, because it is really bright outside. How we can power this? Well, with 3S LiPo battery, with any other 12 volt battery or car socket. I don't use my LiPo, because I have an, an XT60 connector. So I use a huge gel battery with this connector. To use power socket in your car, you just have to connect a cable to the plug. Let's see the difference between my old light and my new light. Here you can easily see that it's kind of huge. Also color representation is better and shadows are softer. Ok, but let's see how it works when it's completely dark outside. You can also get some nice shots with it and some cool cinematic scenes. You can also use it for workshop or any other job. That's all for this video, I hope you like it, don't forget to subscribe, also check out all the links in the description, leave a like and comment, thanks for watching, have a nice day!